March 2012 marks the 10th anniversary of the launch of Priora in the UK. I mean, it seems like yesterday since we actually launched the Priora system. In that time, we've installed hundreds of highly successful projects. In fact, the, the area that we've covered now covers nearly 500 football pitches. I'm John Napton. Um, I'm a kind of an ageing consulting engineer. I've worked with Marshalls, uh, oh, since 1973. We've got a brand new design method being launched today, and uh, it does have nine different uh, types of pavement that we consider, which is more than the British Standard Method and actually more than Marshalls had before. Well, it's very clever what uh, Professor Napton's done. The old models uh, used uh, ultimate limit state so it is very reliant upon not exceeding the vehicle weight. However, when it gets from medium to heavy loading, what John's done is introduced a serviceability aspect. Yeah, we started at the bottom end, which is the domestic application, the patio or the driveway. And we looked at the top end and we decided that we'd like to feel uh, that we can design for up to 15 million standard axles. That's about a thousand heavy vehicles a week. The reason for this is very simple. What we've found over the last, what, 10, 12 years, whilst Marshalls and, and your competitors have been selling uh, permeable pavers, we've been finding that um, it, it doesn't get used a lot. Look, no, no one's using it on the M6. It doesn't get used a lot on that kind of application. There was a gap there to introduce other applications um, so we've got actually nine now within the new, new uh, design models. And many of the Marshalls salespeople will be very aware of the guy who says, look, it's just a car park, and by the way, we've got to design it for the occasional fire engine. <clears throat> That's a hard proposition because he wants the car park done cheaply, it's a car park after all, but he wants it to take what are sometimes the heaviest vehicles on the road. So if you can imagine a seven and a half ton vehicle going over an area, that's very prescriptive for that particular application. If you didn't have the prescriptive method, you could either over design or under design your pavement. So for the client, that's very important because what it allows us to do as well is actually rationalize and save money. John Napton's discovered in Neurolf testing at Newcastle that the Priora surface reduces pressure on the sub-base by up to 40%. It comes about because of the unique way that the blocks interlock and interact. The six nibs on each block, each nib has got three separate contact points. So three angles going different ways to help transfer that load. Rotation, interlock, what does it mean? It means that the block, this is an exaggeration again, you're preventing the block from being disturbed from its true plane. So that could be on a slope, it could be on a horizontal. And whether you relate to a herringbone pattern or a, a stretcher bond or a basket weave, you actually do get less movement of the pavement horizontally and vertically under load. I think it's a proven uh, benefit and it's one of the few benefits on a paver that's not just a, a, you know, a marketing claim, it does actually have some good engineering behind it. We do find that uh, unlike some of the claims that are made in different parts of the world, this does work. So what we've done over the last 10 years, we've looked at what's been happening around the world. We've looked at American specifications, German specifications, Australian ones. We've, looked at the, we've also looked very carefully at what's happened to the early prior jobs. We found that they've performed very well. And we've said, look, if they perform that well, there's clearly room for a little bit of saving. So when we talk about rationalizing Marshall's prior system, we're reducing um, elements within the pavement. So it could be the capping or the subgrade improvement layer, it could be the sub base which is the foundation, or it could actually be the road base uh, which is usually a DBM or a CBM type material. On average you're looking at around 25 to 30 percent savings from the new models compared to the old Marshalls models. Yeah? There's also a cost saving when you compare to the British standard as well. So generally it's allowed us to, um, as you say, rationalise the design to a degree, generally taking a little bit of the sub-base away. If you don't have that nib system, there's a possibility you may not be able to rationalise the actual pavements. That's given us the confidence to rationalise the sub-base, 
to reduce the depth of the sub-base that's required while still providing the same guarantee that we always have. And it's also Marshall's doing what we're, what we're good at, trying to give the customer the best deal in terms of performance, aesthetic and cost. Mm -hmm.